little over four years ago, uh, I was working a critical care job in London during the pandemic. I was preparing for a night shift. Um, I was on a dating app, as we often were, when a lovely girl from Kent uh, started talking to me. I was pretty rubbish, largely due to work commitments, at replying to messages, but Liv thankfully must have seen something in me too, because she persisted, and eventually after a couple of months of talking, we ended up meeting up. I often think that our first few months wouldn't have really worked anywhere else but London. There were so many places to see outside, and we couldn't really go anywhere. We were chatting for hours and hours and hours on end, and I realised just how easy it was to be around her. I didn't have to be anybody but myself, and for some reason she liked that. I've noticed people say the phrase other half to describe their partner often in casual conversation, but to me this feels like more than that. With Liv, I feel complete, like a whole person. Like part of me was missing until we met. I don't know exactly know what our future holds, but I know we'll always be together and I'll always love you. We've got the adventure of parenthood as well before us and I think that's going to be absolutely incredible. I couldn't have asked for a better partner and a better wife. Olivia, you have become a hard-working, kind, Guinness-drinking, ACDC-loving, karaoke-singing, stand-up comedian, Alan Partridge-quoting, successful woman who doesn't like dancing, and so I can take credit for passing on at least some of those qualities. Andy is a very good friend. He's a genuine person, and I'm really pleased to see him here today with Liv as happy as I've ever seen. Andy told me that he'd met the girl of his dreams. Liv was clearly different. She was strong, caring, thoughtful, and as you can all see today, beautiful. And it's with great pleasure I can announce you are now legally married to one another as husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride.
fully agree that they are a perfect match, Helen and I, and everyone here knows that you will have a wonderful life together. So I'll ask you all to raise your glasses and join me in a toast to the happy couple. I know that I speak for everyone here when I wish you a lifetime of health, happiness, fun and laughter to the bride and groom.